This is a live active feeding bagworm on an arborvita. Arborvitas, cypresses, pine trees, and spruce trees can be devoured by bagworms. Many evergreens come under attack each year by bagworms. If you're spraying your bagworms, this video is to help you determine whether you need to respray and how to test to determine if you need to respray for bagworm control. A few days after I've sprayed a tree with Seven, which is my primary agent that I use to control bagworms here at our farm, I will take a sample of bagworms from an area where I have sprayed maybe a dozen bagworms in different parts of different trees and then I'll go to a tree that I know I have not sprayed and pick a dozen bagworms off of that tree as well. I'll set them out in two groups and a group as I have labeled here Arborvitus treated with seven and Arborvitus untreated. The reason that I do that is I like to set the bagworms up in a line and then observe them over a period of time to determine the activity level on the two groups. I like to conduct this test for about 45 minutes to give the bagworms time to get acclimated to their new environment. Bagworms are sneaky little critters. They'll hide in this sack and it's difficult to pull the sack apart to see if they're alive or dead. So by leaving a control group, those that have not been sprayed, adjacent to a group that have been sprayed, I can determine whether there's activity or enough activity that may warrant a retreatment of the area that's affected by bagworms. My test usually lasts about 45 minutes. In that time period, bagworms that are active will start to move around and actually make progress in trying to find a new home. After several minutes, the untreated group starts to awaken and start to move around. Their movements are slow but deliberate. They'll turn and twist and move their bag around and then slowly pull themselves away from one area in search of food. Meanwhile, the treated group, the group treated with seven, shows over a period of time no activity whatsoever. There's also a gross difference between the color of the two groups. And this is because the treated group are starting to die and the bagworm inside the sack is likely rotting and oozing out body fluids that are discoloring the bag. The untreated bagworms here also show a difference in the color of the bag at the top of the bag. At the top of the bag, that's where newer, fresher material is added onto the bagworm's sack as it's building its cocoon. Notice the treated seven bagworms have no new foliage. The untreated do have some new foliage on them. If part of your control of bagworms is that you're going to pick them off the tree and crush them on the ground or put them in your trash, just remember, if you crush them on the ground and you don't kill all the bagworms by stepping on them, they're going to crawl away and find another little tree to, to infest. If you throw them in your trash can, they're likely just going to crawl out of that trash can and infect another tree in near the trash can area. So what I like to do when I kill bagworms and pick them off a tree, I like to first put them in a can that they can't escape from and then crush the can and putting it in a dumpster. And I put it in the dumpster and I put it inside another can because these little critters really want to live. And if they can escape, they will. It doesn't seem like they move fast, but over a period of time they can move long distances just by dragging themselves here and there with their little mouths extended from the bag of this bagworm sack. If in the treated bagworms you see activity, I would retest. 
If you have two or three bagworms, after repeatedly retesting, continuing to show signs of activity, you might have to retest. Especially since if you consider two or three bagworms in a group of 10 would mean you have a 20% survival rate overall. That would be an incomplete application of the correct amount of pesticide or the correct technique in applying the pesticide to the arborvitae. It's most important to assure that you need to respray before you respray. Respraying when not necessary is actually more harmful to the microorganisms of, of the nursery or your landscape. So respraying should be your last consideration. Your first consideration should be, do you need to respray? And if so, why? And as you can see, the untreated bagworms are live, happy, moving around, searching for a new home. The treated bagworms, it appears to have excellent control. It doesn't appear any of them are moving or alive. And so I would say that I should not respray. But I will go back at the end of the season and look for any bagworms that may be on the tree that have enlarged larger than these the sacks that you see and pick those off by hand. I don't want to over treat our fields or our crops.